everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm just going to be coming to you guys with a easy beginner friendly nail art slash designs video so a lot of people ask me how i do certain nail art like marble and stamping and this and that so i decided that in this video i will show you how i do all of this simple nail art that you can also do at home if you get the right products so um, a lot of people have been getting into the ombre nails, so I guess I'll start with ombre. Right, so I'm just going to be using the LA Colors Color Craze nail polishes. These are very good for um, ombre because they're very cheap and they actually work really good. So I'm just going to be using these. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay. All right. So. The lighter color is the pink, so you want to start with the pink base. And this goes for like any um, ombre. Let's say you had blue and purple, but it was a light blue. Of course, you use the light blue first and then go in and uh, do your ombre. So as for polishing, you want to keep it very thin for the base layer because you want your ombre to stick, but you also don't want your nail to be very thick because it will take very long to dry ombre typically doesn't take very long to dry because you're not using that many coats and most of the polish is sucked up by the sponge but you still want to be careful with how much polish you use because it can get thick and another thing you can do to speed up the process is use a nail enamel dryer you're gonna go in with some cosmetic wedges these are just the ones from Dollar Tree you can use any wedges to do this it's really up to you so what you want to do is you want to start out with what color you want at the top so for this nail I do want the pink at the top and the purple at the bottom um, you can reverse it and do the purple at the uh, top and the pink at the bottom but I want the pink at the top and the purple at the bottom so you want to get a good amount of polish on your brush but not too much wipe off the side and simply do a line going across and you want to make sure that you put enough polish because if not your ombre will come out very patchy and you also want to move pretty fast because I mean it is regular polish it's going to dry and then this is a sponge so the drying ability is a lot faster so you want to make sure that you have enough polish and simply just dab on the nail as shown and as you can see I have a very light fade but you want to do this up to three times depending on how sheer the polish is these are some very bright colors but they're not that sheer so the most you'll have to do is probably two to three coats but for more pastel colors I would actually recommend staying away from pastel colors when you're doing ombre because you will have to do way more than three coats but if you want that look it's up to you It's a very nice fade and it looks a lot darker off camera so there is your ombre nail very easy and very cute also very trendy because everyone wants ombre nails since this is regular polish if you're going to use a gel top coat like this you want to make sure that it is dry so you can go ahead and do your top coat but yeah if it isn't dry it will wrinkle or crack all right, so next I'm going to move on to marble nails. A lot of people have been asking me how I do marble nails and I figured it was time to go ahead and show you guys. So I'm gonna show you how to do the marble nail with the classic nail art pen and then the Sharpies because everyone has been getting into the Sharpies like myself. So you wanna start off with the white base. So I'm just gonna paint both of these at the same time because this is gel polish 
and since this is gel polish the acetone that you're going to have to use to fade the colors isn't going to affect the polish at all because it doesn't come off unless you sit the acetone right there for a long period of time so I'm just gonna do one coat because this is a swatch stick and I don't want to just use use my polish up for a swatch stick but you can, you're supposed to use two coats if you want a very nice finish so just want to sit and let these dry for a few minutes and while it's drying you can go ahead and pick out your colors for the sharpie marble and as for this marble we just already have the color and you can also be putting your acetone in your adapting dish because you will have to use 100% acetone for this to work I heard some people use alcohol for the sharpie marble but I just use acetone all right so these two marbling techniques are completely different because for this marble that I'm about to do it's a certain look I mean you can do the faded out look if you want to but a lot of people like when the lines are showing but as for the sharpie marble it's a completely faded out look so it really doesn't matter how you put the um sharpie on the nail but yeah you also want to have a paper towel nearby because you will have to do a lot of wiping all right so what you want to do is you want to take your nail art polish get a nice amount on the brush but you do want to make sure your brush is preferably thin unless you want like a very thick umbre i mean not umbre <laughs> marble so you want to start from this corner of the nail and squiggle a line going down all right just like that the first line really doesn't matter because you're going to fade it completely out anyway but just to get an idea of how you want your marble you do it that way and then you just take another line going down this way and then some random lines like right here and right here so this is how i do my um marbling technique you don't have to do it like this like i said you can do the completely faded out look but i like mine to look like this so then you want to just dip a brush in some acetone it really doesn't matter what kind of brush you use but you do want to make sure that it is acetone safe so you just dip it in there you don't want too much acetone but you want enough and then you want to just pat pat on the lines and make sure that you cover the entire nail with the polish All right, now for this last line, if you like your marble to be very thick, well, your marble line to be very thick, you can keep the brush like this, but I like for mine to be pretty thin or, you know, on the medium side. So I wipe most of the polish off the brush and put it towards the end of the brush and then just draw your line. Now your lines are going to come out different every time because, I mean, it just is. See, this line is pretty thick. So I just want to go in once more and pat on it just so it can fade out a little. Because I don't like for the line to look very... Um, uniform i guess i want it to be kind of messy but do it however you like it all right so here is the marble nail it's really cute i really like these because it can make a very simple look very extra without doing too much so 
here is the marble nail and now we're going to do the sharpie marble nails all right now as for the sharpie nails you do want to move very fast not too fast to where you're messing up but fast enough so your sharpies don't dry out so you want to just go ahead and place your little squigglies and I tend to do this little design a lot, like where I do the first color I pick up here and there and then I go from there. So it's the same thing, but you don't have to like uh, do any lines or anything. All right, so I think I'm going to go in with the purple right here. It's the same technique, but it's kind of different since you are working with a marble that isn't supposed to be very perfect, I guess. So you want to do the same thing, but as for some colors, you do want to make sure that you don't use a lot of acetone to where the colors fade into each other because that isn't the best look if the colors clash because it'll turn into like a brown or something and that's not cute alrighty And same for this, you want to go in and do like two or three more layers so the colors are very vibrant and not so sheer, unless you want them that way. All right, so here is the finished look. I know the lightning isn't the best, but it's the best I can do. All right, so that is it for the second nail. Now I'm going to do some chrome. Now everyone is crazy over chrome. With this chrome, well with any chrome, it doesn't matter which color you put underneath but as for the color I'll be using it'll be this pink right here so all right so once it comes out of the light you want to do a layer of non-cleanse gel top coat and it has to be non-cleanse or it won't work I mean you can try it with the cleanse top coat but 10 times out of 10 it's not going to work so you want to make sure that the layer of top coat is very even and it doesn't have any imperfections because it will show up in chrome and for this you want to do it according to your top coat i do mine for 10 seconds because that's the only way it'll work for me but you can do 30 seconds or whatever i tried 30 seconds before and it didn't work so 10 seconds is for my top coat all right now for chrome it's very simple you can either use eyeshadow applicators or um the makeup wedges i'm going to use a makeup wedge because i feel like you get a better coverage than doing it with a um 
eyeshadow applicator but here's the powder it is so pretty if you guys can see that it has like different color things to it so it's basically the same technique for the sponge and the uh, eyeshadow applicator you just want to make sure you cover the whole nail Here it is. Don't know if y'all can really tell. The camera quality is beautiful, but my lightning isn't the best because I use my lamp for my nail light. So, but yeah, you want to just make sure you rub it in really good. And then before you top coat, you want to make sure you wipe off the excess. All right. So for the next nail, I will be showing you how I do stamps. Stamps are very easy. Well, stamping is very easy. But there is some trial and error if you don't do it correctly. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do it correctly. So first, of course, you wanna start off with the base layer of polish. I'm just gonna use this pink because it's already right here. And while it is curing, you want to go ahead and get your stuff in position because stamping can get very messy if you don't do it right. So you do want to have a paper towel around somewhere because you don't want to get polish all over your table. And as for the polish, you want to use a stamping polish. You can use a um regular polish but it doesn't show up as good as the stamping polish but the wet and wild uh regular polish it actually shows up very good for stamping so you can go get some of those they're only a dollar at dollar tree so yeah so what you want to do is you want to sit your stamping plate on the paper towel because if not you will get polish all over your table and I mean, of course you can get it off, but why do it when you can just avoid it by simply putting the paper towel down? All right, so to do stamping, you need stamping polish, a scraper, and a stamper. Um, I really like this stamper because it's all clear and you can see where you put it on the nail so that you don't mess anything up. All right. And also, this is optional, but I use tape to clean off my stamper because using acetone or nail polish remover will dry it out and it makes it like a very weird texture. So, what you want to do is you want to make sure your stamping plate is clean, first of all. Mine's isn't because I did do some stamping yesterday. So you want to just take a cotton ball and some acetone and simply just wipe it off. And you want to make sure your scraper is clean as well. All right. Okay. I do have a little piece of polish right here. So I'm just take the tape and get it off. All right. Now watch this technique because it's fairly simple but it can get confusing so I am going to zoom in a little bit. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to make sure your nail is close by first of all. Alright, so you want to open up your polish, make sure it's shooking up and all the polishes together. Alright, so you want to have everything very ready and quick to access. So what you want to do is you want to take your polish, make sure you have enough, swipe it across the top of the stamp that you'll be using, take your scraper, scrape going down or to the side, pick up the stamp, look where you want it, and then stamp. 
It's very simple and very easy. This didn't turn out the best because I am recording and it's kind of hard to uh, do this while recording. So, yeah. But it's that simple. It's very easy. Just like the rest of these designs. Alright, so here are all the designs together. They're all very pretty, very trendy, and also very easy to do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.